Um, you're often portrayed as a bit strange, a bit weird, and that you look I a bit... I haven't heard that, John. <laughs> <laughs> and that you look a bit like Wallace. Uh, I'd heard you... that. I'd heard that. <laughs> do you think that any of that matters? That's a good question. Um, no, is the basic point. Um, look, the thing I would say... Other people may disagree. Uh, look, the thing I would say about this is if you want this to be a beauty contest or a photo-op contest... Why are you laughing? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 then I'm not going to win it, right? I I'm not trying to win a photo op contest, and if I was bacon sandwich being an illustration, uh, <laughs> then I wouldn't win it. I, I think there are other things that matter in a leader. Uh, I think ideas matter to change the country. I think decency matters, and whether you hear the voices of people right across your country. And I think something else above all, which is standing up for your principles. Even if you've got powerful opponents, Rupert Murdoch, the energy companies, the banks, I think you need someone in Downing Street who will actually stand up for what they believe in, however powerful they are. Uh, you say you don't really mind that much about your image, and I saw in an interview recently you said you'll be resilient. But how can you expect voters to believe that? And they'll elect you and rely on you to be the representative of the country, and no one else will take you that seriously. Well, look, you're entitled to your view, uh, uh, but that's obviously not the way uh, I see it. You know, I, I believe I will be a good representative for this country. You'll have to make the judgment uh, on that. But I believe I'll be a good representative. Let me say something about my record in government. Uh, I was the climate change secretary at the 2009 Copenhagen talks, where I represented the country. Uh, and, you know, nobody at the talks was asking me, are you good eating a bacon sandwich? <laughs> they, were, they, they were actually saying to me, you know, where does Britain stand on climate change? Can you represent the issues? And I actually think that's, you know, that's the issue. Uh, that's the issue. What kind of leadership does one have for this country? And let me just say, just briefly, Rick, mm. one other thing. Will you do what, what, what Blair did? What, 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 no, 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 you do that? Hey, hey. You know, we saw what Blair did, converted to, into Catholicism after he left. I didn't have any chance of me converting to Catholicism, but I'm not going to make a judgment uh, that, uh, about other people doing that. Uh, but we, we, I'm happy to get into that uh, if you want. Um, but no, look, no, it's okay. But, but there is a, uh, there, there is a, um, that there is an issue here, and we haven't yet talked about it, which is what kind of country do we want to be in the world? Do we want to be an outward-looking country? Do we want to be a country in the European Union or outside it? what role do we play in the world? And I think that's, you know, what really matters, and that's what people will be looking to Britain for. OK. Uh, what are people saying online, Sina? We do this from Martin, um, who asks, how can you run the country when you've never even run a corner shop? <laughs> and I think that's in reference to you working in politics for all of your career. You've yeah. been criticised by business leaders. How would you respond to that? I was a journalist at one point. I don't know whether that counts. Uh, Political journalist. Uh, 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 on a politics show. Yeah, I was. Um, <laughs> I'll do a, new, a, news, a news programme. But, you know, I, I'm not embarrassed by caring about politics, and I've cared about politics most of my life. I was brought up by two parents who were refugees from the Nazis who taught me that if you saw an injustice in the world, you should try and do something about it. And, you know... <laughs> uh, uh, you know I, I, I think the question that really matters in this is, is something that we don't talk about enough in politics, which is the idea of empathy, right? Do you, do you listen? Are you able to understand? Listening is not a quality that most political leaders would talk about. But I think it's right to talk about it, because the question is, can you walk in other people's shoes? Can you understand where they're coming from? So I think that is the key, that is the key test. And what about businesses? You say you're not listening to them and you're not on the side of businesses. Well, some businesses don't like what I'm saying. So when I say that we've got to reform the energy market, some of the energy companies don't like it, but that's tough. Right? Some of the banks don't like what I'm saying. But, you know, I'm actually serving the millions of businesses in this country who say to me, I, I don't like the fact that I'm being ripped off on my energy prices. I don't like the fact that the banks don't serve me. So, you know, there'll be some people who don't like what I'm saying, but that's always what happens when you try and change things, and I'm determined to change things.